Good evening, everybody. Let's try this again. Can everybody hear me? Yes? Okay. Let's try this again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Could I please have everybody begin to take their seats because we're about to start the program, okay? So, Shansara Jamfra Nekriyo, okay? Botar Digentis. Okay, so, I'm going to ask you to ask me. 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 Frase errado. Ok? Ok. Só me pedi para alguém para poder tomar seis lugar, digo assim, para não também estar no nosso programa, digo assim. So, I want to welcome everybody to the 25th anniversary for the CV Day celebration. Can I have a round of applause for that, please? So, bem-vindo tudo alguém que está ali. Hoje é nosso 25 aniversário de dia de Cabo Verdeano de Brockton. Um crestado aquele dia ali. Com um momento de silêncio, por favor. Ok, obrigado. That moment of silence that I just asked for was just to have everybody take a second and really realize it has been 25 years. For the ones that were here 25 years ago, this is a big day, not only for them, but for us. I'm not even 25 yet. So to stop and think that 25 years ago, an organization like this started something so amazing like this, and it's still going on, that's amazing. So thank you all for coming. Thank you guys for always supporting the Cape Verdean Association. And without further ado, we're gonna continue on to our program. I didn't introduce myself, so I should probably do that first, right? My name is Angela Rosa, maiden name Gonsalves, but I just got married, so. Sounds a little funny saying that, but yes, my name is Angela Rosa. I'm born and raised in Brockton. Um, like I said, my parents are from Fogo, and I just want to say that it is an honor to be the MC for tonight. I have been the MC before for the gala, but being the MC for tonight is very special, and I want to thank the Cape Verdean Association for asking me. It is an honor, and I feel blessed, and I hope, with the help of God, that I'll be able to do this job right and that the night will go smoothly, so bear with me. So first up, I would like to call Manuel Santeo, the Executive Director of the Cape Verdean Association. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my dear friends and family, Welcome to our 25th Cape Verdean Day Annual Gala Dinner. My name is Manny Santeo. I am currently the Interim Executive Director of the Cape Verdean Association of Brockton. Tonight is not only a celebration of our heritage in the city of Champs, but the stride, growth, and hiccups we had on the road. You know the, the association has multi-generation and numerous programs which I would like to share with you all. My favorite is our summer program, which currently has 130 participants and 50 staff. It is the largest in the city of employment for teens. English for, speaker, yeah, English for speakers of other language is another program we offer. This program is about a little over a year ago. Uh, we. We only, yeah, sorry, a little over a year ago, was only being offered two to three times a week. 
we were able to align resources to offer the program more times throughout the day with dedicated teaching resource. We have a program called the Father's Program, which, which have approximately 10 dads enrolled in the program per year. Every time we speak to the dads from the program, they tell us the same story. I didn't understand how much of an impact I could have on my kids and how they are all better fathers because of the program. We have after school program for our kids. We have community domestic violence program. This is one of our newer programs. It is centered around a weekly women's group of support. Our president joins them to hear widespread issues that are impacting our women. We have family stabilizing programs. We have employment resource, health resource, elderly program, counseling service. And one of our biggest service is the counselor service. We have extended our service to add a third day. When we la initially launched the Saturday service, we would find about 50 to 60 folks visiting the office for service. I would like to invite all to please visit our website, which is www.cvassociation.org to see all, all of our great programs and work. Our goal tonight is to celebrate the, the impact this organization has in the city, in the community, and the individuals each day. My only request is please get involved, volunteer or donate, because this is our association. And the only way we're going to evolve or expand is when we have more help. Thank you, enjoy the night, and let's celebrate. Thank you again, Manny, for coming up. And thank you, Manny, for going over all of the programs that we have at the Cape Verde Association. Each program is ran by some of the most amazing people I've ever met. And the programs themselves do such a difference. Like Manny was saying, for, the, for example, the Father's Program, you don't realize how much of an impact is until you go through the program. And the fathers speak on that. So thank you, Manny, for speaking on all of the wonderful programs that we have at the Cape Verde Association. Next up, I would like to introduce a man who I have the pleasure of calling my godfather. He is one, it's like words cannot describe how I feel about him, and I don't want to get super emotional, but is an honor to be in his presence, to hear all of the accomplishments that he has had throughout his life, and to see where he has gotten today from 25 years ago is so amazing. His accomplishments are numerous. I'm not gonna list them all because we'd be here forever. He's a veteran. He's a father, he's a grandfather, which I think he's probably the most proudest of as I watch him right now with Josiah in his lap. And he is also the mayor of the City of Champions, the mayor of Brockton. Please give a warm welcome to Moses Rodriguez. Thank you very much. Uh, for a second there, I thought Mandy was actually going, was doing a commercial. <laughs> listing all the, uh, the great things that this association does. But I don't want to take too much time. I just want to seriously thank everybody for coming out tonight and for trusting this organization that we've had in this city now for 42 years. Uh, the Cape Verdean Association was founded back in 1977. So it's been around a while. It has hit quite a few bumps and turns on the road, but uh, here we are today, uh, probably one of the 
more thriving organizations in the community. And it happens because of the help of all of you. And it's people like you that make our city great. As you know, our city had a little bit of a, a heartbreak not too long ago when we uh, lost our mayor um, unexpectedly. And we had to uh, pull ourselves up from our bootstraps and uh, move the city forward. And I was honored to uh, be elected by my colleagues in the city council to become the city's next mayor. And it is with, uh, you know, added emotional, and I mean, emotion in the sense, um, you know, that's not the way you want to do it, but we are in the position. We're going to be there for six months, uh, and we're going to do what we can to move this city forward. We've got a great uh, team working, great staff in the mayor's office, great folks in that building that's called City Hall, and we're going to do what we can to move this city forward. We have some great initiatives of some things that we want to continue for, Bill uh, Carpenter left off, and there's a few things that we're going to push forward to make this city a better city. Uh, but it can only be better if everybody works together to make Brockton a better city. I'm not going to sit here with cliches about who's going to build the city, who's not going to build the city, but what we need to do is, um, and I, I, I've often said that it doesn't really matter where you come from, it doesn't matter how you got to Brockton. It doesn't matter if you came through Ellis Island, through the Mayflowers, through, the, through slave ships, uh, in my case, through a Boeing 747, but it doesn't really matter how you got here. The, what's important is that you're here, and you're here to make our city a better city, a great city within this Commonwealth. And the only way we can do that is for all of us to work together, regardless how we see things, regardless how we feel about our politics, to work together to make Rockton a great city. And I'm gonna count on every single one of you guys that are in this room and everybody that's in this community to make uh, an effort to help us push Rockton forward. You know, too often we spend, we, it seems like we, uh, we're in quicksand, you know, just spinning our wheels around and not being able to do too much, but I believe that we now have a great combination between the council and the mayor's office, and hopefully as we move forward, we'll continue to have that relationship to make sure that we leave our differences aside and do what's best for the citizens in this community. So that much I can guarantee you. And again, thank you for your support. Thank you for all that you do in the name of the people in this, uh, in this community. We will continue to work together to make sure that Brockton becomes a great city once again. Thank you very much and enjoy your night. He always does this so effortlessly. He doesn't come with a paper or a pen or a cell phone or anything of a speech. And I always admire that because you know why? He speaks from his heart. Apparently he forgot something though. Yes, you do. You know, Shafunyo Zumpuza, Katenara Mas Dueno, Ki Kesconfiado, Ki Mukria, this is picking out. Que gostinho está para fazer, que é o atrevimento que ele faz igual assim. E mais tem razão. Uh, pelo, por, talvez pela primeira vez na história da cidade do tem alguém na, naquela office que é crioulo e estava bem crioulo. Uh, sem tradução, sem intérprete, sem nada. Mas ao mesmo tempo quase em grande resumo que ele me falava na inglês que é cidade que tem dono. É cidade que tem dono. Do que vem ali, do que está ali de passagem, do está ali como cidadãos na cidade, para tornar a cidade cada vez melhor. E a única forma de tornar melhor ainda é com a ajuda de tudo alguém que está ali. Se não pôr nós mãos juntos, trabalhar juntos, duramente, para vir a cidade melhor, que tem hipótese de que vir a melhor. E que está a fazer diferença naquela área de estrada que está partido A, partido B, partido C, o importante é que está ali tudo junto para vir a Brockton cada vez melhor. Ah, não sabemos, nós mesmo ali na cidade, teve um um, um morte não muito esperado, não muito esperado, e teve a felicidade de ser eleito por uh, minha colegas na City Council já tem um semana e tal, e do torna pelo menos hoje uma nossa cidade está progredida e cada vez melhor, uh, pela primeira vez do tem um órgão de cor na liderança da cidade, mas ao mesmo tempo o ali uh, é como isso, nós o tudo junto para fazer o que é que eu pode fazer para levar a nossa cidade para frente. 
nós, nós que abordamos um grupo maior das comunidades, não tem que trabalhar de junto para a biodiversidade cada vez melhor. Não tem que assumir uma certa responsabilidade de nós, de limpar nós, que, nós, nós, nós casa, nós, nós campos, o que é que pode fazer para o torno desse cidade cada vez melhor para morrer. Eu quero estar lá para trás. Eu quero fazer a diferença de forma que do bem, gosto de estar ali e é importante para trabalhar de junto para o virado cada vez melhor. Para ser de povo de Brockton ou povo cabordiano de Ana Brockton. Só então que eu não te agradeço, senhor Sturo, que bem, obrigado e nos passa a sair. So maybe he should have brought a pen and a paper to uh, remind him. <laughs> Next up, I would like to call up the Cape Verdean Consulate in Boston, Mr. Ermino Moniz, to say a few words, please. Good evening. Good night. His Excellency Carlos Vega, Ambassador of Cap Verde to the United States, Honorable Mayor of Brockton, my friend Moisés Rodriguez, Honorable Robert Sullivan, Brockton City Council President, Mr. Nessie Lopez, President ACVB Board, all protocol observed. I offer my deepest condolence to the city of Brockton, Brockton to the family of late Bill Carpenter, who was a great friend of Cabo Verde. To my friend, Honorable Mayor of Brockton, Moisés Rodriguez, my best wish to fulfill this job. It's a duty, but more than that, it's a great honor for me to attend this event. As a matter of fact, Cap Verde is more than a geographic space. It's a profound sense of belonging to a resilient community spread all over the world, very proud of its culture and its legacy. The fact that you are holding this gala in the framework of our National Day, it's a sign of the importance you give to this day and your confidence in the future of our nation. In a retrospective analysis from a country considered at the outset 1975 inviolable, we became not only viable, but also respected among the nations. We conquered a rightful place in the world in full respect of the rule of law and human rights, combined with social and economic development. Let's keep alive our culture, our values, our community is well integrated in this country. And we should be very proud of 200 years of presence in the United States of America. God bless the United States of America. God bless Cap Verde. Thank you. I want to also the likeness of Moisés to the two words in the language of the earth. First, to the tristeza que nos tem, com o desaparecimento físico, com o passamento de meia Bill Carpenter. E foi, na verdade, um grande amigo de Cabo Verde, e foi, na verdade, um grande amigo de Cabo Verde. Na nossa tradição na Cabo Verde, não te costuma falar, mas nos amigos que te morrem, esta desaparece de nossa presença, pois vive eternamente na nosso coração. É o caso de Bill Carpenter, 
porque morte muitas vezes é esquecimento. Mário Carpenter é também sempre presente na nossa memória, no nosso pensamento e na nossa oração. Segunda palavra é de votos de teu sucesso, facilitado, aliás, para trajeto impactante que nosso amigo, já agora, Maior de Broco, fazia nessa comunidade e para tudo aquilo que, de facto, é te representa para a nossa comunidade. Moisés, Maior Moisés, nesse caso, é uma pessoa de uma grande generosidade e é tem provado ele e é te contínua, de facto, da de tudo se contribuição para que, de facto, a cidade seja cada vez mais uma cidade de campeões. Não está dentro do de período de campanha. Nossas palavras também é para, para pessoas para exercer plenamente a cidadania e que a campanha continua a ser uma campanha de ideias e que, de facto, quem é que ganha seja, sobretudo, não uma vitória pessoal, mas uma vitória da cidade, porque a cidade bem merece. Eu queria falar, mas não se te comemora esses 44 anos de independência da Cabo Verde, é um marco importante. Mas, sobretudo, o facto de não se te comemorar e as gala dentro desse mês de julho, que é mês de independência, é uma prova de confiança. Mas nossa independência, mas nosso progresso é um processo que é a favor da traça. Nosso destino é para sempre mais. Desafios é teu, uma coragem que faltaram, determinação que faltaram e, sobretudo, não tem confiança, mas geração de Cabo Verdeanos. Não só ali, nos Estados Unidos e na Cabo Verde, está continua até esse desenvolvimento, porque o país que não tem é um país que, de facto, pé vá para frente, é preciso que o nosso estudo não contribui. Não tem que flama durante o seu tempo, uma remessa de emigrantes, e é verdade, dão uma contribuição significativa para Cabo Verde desenvolver. Hoje é preciso que não invista um pouco mais na nossa terra, hoje é preciso que realmente quem aqui tem mais técnica, mais competências, ajude a Cabo Verde, de modo que eu, pessoas que têm estado a fazer, porque hoje é que é necessário só remessa de dinheiro, é remessa de competências. Porque às vezes o país é construído, é que é só com o dinheiro, é com o conhecimento. Conhecimento que é chave de desenvolvimento. O que eu queria parar, mas, tomar banho os muito mais tempo, mas é só para terminar para falar, confiança no futuro, nos independência, Cabo Verde é um país do futuro. Muito obrigado e até a próxima. Tudo alguém se faz esforço de papel crioulo, então tudo bem fazer esforço também. Gosto sim, um crédito Yes, thank you. Gosto sim, um crédito humano. Próximo alguém que se vem para E. E. Gostei na Brockton e tenho a mesma posição que Moisés tinha antes que vira presidente de Câmara. Seu so, nome é Robert Sullivan. Right now, I would like to welcome the Brockton City Council President, former and current, Mr. Robert Sullivan, to come up and say a few words. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. Um, I first want to recognize some of my fellow colleagues from the Brockton City Council. Councilor Lodge Winthrop Farwell is here. Thank you, Wynn. <laughs> Councilor Lodge, Gene Bradley Durancourt is here as well. Thank you, Gene. And the Ward 2 City Councilor Thomas Monaghan. Thank you for being here, Tom. And I was going to say my fellow Councilor Lodge Moises Rodriguez, but now it's Mr. Mayor Moises Rodriguez. 
Greetings on behalf of the Brockton City Council. Tonight is a milestone, 25 years, a quarter of a century. That speaks volumes. It speaks volumes, as Manny said, what the Cape Verdean Association does every day to benefit the people that live and work in the city of Brockton. Brockton is my home, it's your home, it's our home, and we need to work together. And as Mayor Rodriguez says, the City Council and his office is doing just that, and we will continue to do that. Tomorrow at the festival, I will come on behalf of the Brockton City Council and present the citation from the City Council. It's, it's just a, a, something that we want to do to memorialize 25 years of hard work, dedication, and fun. Tonight is going to be a fun night. My wife, Maria, might even get me on the dance floor. I don't know. But I am going to tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. We, as elected officials, truly thank you, the residents, the business owners. You make up the city of champions. You are the champions that live and work in our city of champions. So I just want to thank you for being here tonight, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rob. And you will get on the dance floor, and you'll get on the dance floor, and hopefully everybody will get on the dance floor a little later. Can I get a yes? Ah, come on, can I get a yes? Okay, good, this dance floor is not too big, but we'll make space. Next up, I would like to call the former Cape Verdean Association president and the current Vice President of the Cape Verdean Association Board, Mr. Joe Miranda. Since Moses did it in Creole, I'll just do mine in English. Naquel momento ali, just do so for do to my moment for do celebra Manuel. Andrade and Mark is going to come up. At this time, we're just going to do a little bit of a celebration and remember because Mr. Manuel Andrade is also a lifelong board member here of the Cameron Association, but he also produces a show at the BCA. Mr. Manuel Andrade is a member of the Association Cabrian. He is a member of the Association E também ele fazer um programa de televisão na BCA, e chama Florentina, a vez que tu de conche. The name of the program that he participates and produces is called Sailor and Justina, and he has reached a milestone a 1,000 show. Senhor Andrade, naquele programa que tu fazer, que chega a mil show. Mil programa. Que programa é um programa que está fazendo quase tudo. Tudo quinta-feira. É um, um programa de uma hora de televisão. Como a Pogua Mugina, if you can only imagine how long it takes for, to go to BCA once a week to produce a show for one hour for him to reach a thousand, it's a lot of dedication. Pogua Mugina, uma pessoa que dedica canto ano, canto de mora que chega a a mil uh, programas de televisão, que eu estava só uma hora e eu trabalho só uma vez por semana. É por isso que eu estou hoje ali também dar um award. Mark é executor uh, executiva na BCA. Mark is executive director at BCA. I'm also the president of BCA. I kind of wear a lot of hats around here. So we're going to call up Manuel Andrade to come up and receive this award. So Manny is one of the first people I met at BCA, along with Moses. Moses was on the board of directors then, and as Joe said, he's the president of the board. It's an all-volunteer organization, and Manny, he, he doesn't just do television. When we first bought the building, we had an overgrown parking lot down in the lower lot, and he came by to help us clear it. And I said, Manny, what do you want? He says, oh, 
some iced coffee and some French crawlers. That's it. We gave a donation to the association, but this is one of the founders, and like Joe said, a thousand shows, dedication to community and commitment. So Manny, I, I wanted to do this in front of your, the whole community here, we're proud of you. So thank you. Okay, uh, I appreciate this, uh, this gift because of my time on the DCA. Também, nós estamos muito contentes, porque tem Corrente Talan, que funda a associação da Guardiã de Brockton, e estou aqui, nós todos estamos na festa, estamos uma, uma meia Moisés e a Fran, nós todos estamos contentes com o dia que nós trabalhamos juntos. Portanto, no momento sabe ali, no passado sabe, que nós esperamos até o outro ano, nós todos estamos de saúde, quando nós estamos ali, podemos festejar essa festa por isso. Obrigado. Well, you know how it is nowadays with politicians. There's a microphone, we're going to jump on it. Mas, também, também, eu tenho uma citação de oficial de cidade. Já agora, sim, que eu estou no atrevimento de mayor. Mas, é para essa citação. We have a, a citation here from the city as well. And it's an official citation. And it says, be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his congratulations to Manuel Andrade in recognition of your 1,000 episodes of Selo Ernestina. For over a quarter of a century, your program has been a staple in the Cape Verdean community in Brockton. This milestone of 1,000 episodes speaks volumes in your commitment to your community and access television. Therefore, it gives me a great deal of pleasure that this citation is is to you as a symbol of our appreciation and that the citation is duly signed by the mayor of the city of Brockton on this, the 27th day of July, 2019. Manette, congratulations. Also at this time, okay, also at this time, I was supposed to come up originally and, and speak a little bit about the uh, Mayor Carpenter, but a lot of you guys that came spoke before me already mentioned his name and everybody here knows who he was because he was a, a proud mayor and a proud Brocktonian and a person who truly believed in the Cape Verde community because he continued to support this uh, organization while he was mayor. So at this time, before I ask for a moment of silence for Mayor, mayor Carpenter, there's one slogan that he always used to say that I'd like you guys to keep in mind. It was something like, if you truly believe in the city, if you believe in Brockton, you make it home, Brockton will succeed. I truly believe in that. And that is why today I would like you guys to just give me like about 30 seconds moment of silence as we remember Bill Carpenter. <laughs> Thank you. Also, To continue to build this city, we have to move forward. In order to do that, I would like to remind everybody, if you're not registered to vote, to please do so. It's very important that we all go and vote in this next upcoming election. And uh, as Councilor President earlier mentioned uh, all the elected officials. I was supposed to do that, but thank you, sir, for doing that for me. But I believe he, he forgot uh, State Rep. 
Michael Brady. Senator, Senator Michael Brady. And if we forgot anybody else, I'll get to you and I apologize. All right, thanks. Um, sorry, Angela. I let the Nancy name slip only because a lot of people say me and Nancy look alike, so I'll let it slide this time, Joe. <laughs> next up, I know everybody's getting like, oh my god, next up, okay. No, next up is food. <laughs> but before the food, I'd like to bless the food. Um, so I'd like to call up Bishop Tony Branch to just come up and bless the food for us. Good evening, everyone. I can't hear you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. If God woke you up this morning, give God a hand clap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, heaven didn't hear you. If God woke you up this morning, give him a hand clap. So let me just tell y'all that this actually goes a little bit differently when you look at the blessing of the food because it was supposed to be an invocation. But before I even do that, I need to call up Mayor Rodriguez and Maria Rodriguez up here. Mayor Rodriguez, could you join us here, please? Please, 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 very quickly. Amen. Now, I don't know where y'all come from, but when we have leadership in the house that is taking over a city, come on, Holy Ghost. When we have leadership in the house that has taken over a nation or a state, Y'all not talking back to me. They need to be blessed and prayed for. If you believe in God in this house today, somebody needs to shout glory. Ah, God, you didn't think you didn't have a preacher up here? If you believe in God, shout glory. All right, let me have your hands. The work these two have been anointed, don't be cute. The work these two have been anointed to do is called by God. People make the mistake. All leadership is ordained by God. But what Moses has to realize is that he can't do it alone. You understand? He has to do it in partnership with his wife. Come on, come on, hold on. Sometimes there's going to be a hug. Sometimes there's going to be a push. But a lot of times there's going to be a pull. But because of these two, this city will move forward. If you believe that, shout amen. Y'all yeah. not talking about shout amen. Yeah. So you have to understand that the anointing that is upon Moses' head is ordained by God. And the work that you do, we are your children. The work that you do is to lead us forward. If y'all believe that, say amen. amen. And never ever forget that it takes a strong woman. Amen. Mayor Rodriguez, <laughs> what you say? Mayor Rodriguez and First Lady Rodriguez, we love you and we welcome you to this 25th anniversary. Amen? Amen. Now let us pray. For the Bible says, blessed is a nation whose God is their Lord. Bow your heads. Father God, in the name of the Lord that I serve, not taking anything from any other faith, we ask that you bless the food that we're now about to receive. May it provide strength in our bodies for Christ's sakes, we pray. Those that believe in the redemption, please say amen. amen. Thank you. I know everybody's awake. If you guys were sleeping before, you guys are awake now, right? Thank you so much, Tony Branch, for coming up here. So, without further ado, we're going to start calling up tables for dinner. So I have uh, my helper right here, Isaiah. You see, everybody see Isaiah? Isaiah and another one of his helpers. Raise your hand, Anthony, raise your hand. They're gonna come around and escort table by table to uh, get in the line for dinner. Does everybody get it? Yes, is everybody excited for dinner? Yes, I know I am. Okay, Isaiah, Anthony, take it away. Everybody enjoy your dinner, eat, Eat some more and eat some more after that, okay? There's plenty of food, okay? All right, round of applause for dinner because I felt like it wasn't gonna come and now it's here.
Enjoy dinner, guys. Has everybody gotten a chance to get up and get their food? I'm assuming because I, I'm not hearing any response, everybody's mouth is full with food. So, um, so let me just ask you a question. How was dinner? Good? I'm seeing thumbs up. Let me ask again, how was dinner? Oh, look at all the thumbs. This is so good. Okay, great. Um, if everybody, I know that dinner time is a time to socialize and a time to have conversations with um, the rest of your table members, but if I could please ask for everybody to just quiet down for a quick second. Um, I have somebody coming up, and all jokes aside, although I say she is my twin, I do really appreciate everything that she does in the community, and I, we're not that different, much different in age, but I do one day hope that I can be like her. She's a phenomenal person. And without further ado, I would like to call up the president of the Cape Verdean Association Board, Nancy Lopes. I just, I just want to ask one quick thing. Do we really look that alike? Okay, hold on, okay. Wait for the smile, ready? And then tell me, ready? No? Yeah, I don't see it either, I don't know. All right, Nancy, up to you. So, I was gonna start off my speech with um, for those of you that were at Father Ariel's going away party, my mom called me this morning. She's actually in Florida for another family event that I'm not at right now. I've been family shamed and disowned at this point. Um, but she called me this morning to remind me to have fun today, to stay calm, and to not get emotional because I couldn't even finish my speech last time at his going away party. So. I will do my best to not cry. Angela did not start me off very well, so um, I'm gonna try to keep it together today. Grebo komenca es palavras de hoje com um palavra que a mãe tinha sido hoje que está ali para morrer esta não casa de família na Florida. Eu tinha sido bem lembrado hoje que o passa sabe e fica calmo também para que me emocione a chegar. Quando eu estava na festa de padre Irineu, um chorar de eu na parte. So I want to remember today to keep it together. Um, so Angela could do that. In the beginning, I tried to express all the things I have to say today. So I would like first to recognize our families, our friends, dignitaries, and all our special guests this evening. I don't plan to cry, but I do plan to share some feelings with you today. It is absolutely wonderful. To be, with here, to be here with you all again. Not only because I like to get dressed up, but because I want to acknowledge how historic this evening is. 25 years ago, the city of Brockton came to a realization that there was a community that had become so prevalent that they needed their own day of recognition in the city. So pause for a second and think about the work that that community had to do to deserve that moment 25 years ago. Today, we are acknowledging those folks. I have been president of this organization for two years. I know now the pressure, efforts, sacrifice that is required to support a community with foundations, history, expectations, and goals. We want to celebrate those people who set the stone for today. So at this moment, I'm going to ask if you are an elected official in the city, please stand. If you currently hold a seat in office, please stand. If you are... If you are a former board member, president, or other offices of the Cape Verde Association, please stand.
If you have participated in the CB Day Festival, past or present, as a vendor, sponsor, artist, performer, please stand. If you are a staff member of the Cape Verdean Association, past or present, please stand. And I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the people that helped make today and this weekend possible. If you're a member of the Stevie Day Committee, please stand. They're all against the wall, apparently. If you are a member of the community from St. Edith Stein, please stand. I'd like to acknowledge our DJ who saved us at the very last minute, DJ Magnus. If for some reason you weren't in any of those categories, I, can, I encourage you all to join us tomorrow at the Arnold School at 2 p.m to witness what those historical moments are. 25 years later, this community alongside this organization has been growing, evolving, and transforming. 25 years later, a young man was helping raise the flag that day of the first proclamation. That young man is now an accomplished gentleman serving as mayor of the city. Twenty-five years later, a baby, I call him a baby, was learning the difference between lithi and milk as the same. And that man today has the potential to be the youngest mayor in the city. <laughs> Moses and Jimmy, can you guys stand for a second so the community can see you? These are just two examples of the progress and potential that this community has. It is strong in history and lots of potential to move forward. I know we have a few other Cape Verdean candidates running and I would like to acknowledge Tony Rodriguez and Tina Cardoso that are here today and friends of the organization. And I would also at this point ask anyone running for office to please stand. Stay standing for a second. I want everyone to recognize that the diversity of the candidates and the breadth of knowledge within them is alone an example of the progress that we have made as a community. Thank you. And I also want to take a moment, we've recognized the mayor, we've recognized some other folks that aren't here with us today, but this organization itself was founded on people who sacrificed and who have since left us in the journey. So we wanted to take a moment to recognize our former board members, our staff members, and members of the community that are not here with us today. Our theme for this weekend is transformation and evolution. We wanted to reflect on how far we have come as an organization. Manny gave you some insight into all that we are doing today. We have our long-standing activities that we've done for a long time and done well. We have expanded our services to include our domestic violence resources and the program that we run every Wednesday. I go to these meetings and it amazes me still, to this day, how resilient the women in our Cape Verdean community are. That program was started with a partnership with Criados Unidos. It has become a strong collaboration between us. And as president and representative of this community, we have made a promise and commitment to support the women in our community and do all that we can to protect them, honor them, and support them. I had the opportunity to speak at the Haitian Community Partners Gala, another group that is a friend of ours, and their theme was filling the gap. And I talked about how a gap is a very small space that you have to shrink yourself to fit into. I am proud to say that as an organization, we are not allowing ourselves to fill the gap. We are instead choosing to break it. 
In my personal life, I recently took on a kindred foster placement of my niece. She's a healthy baby, half Irish and half Cape Verdean. She has taught me a lot of things over the last few months, besides how precious sleep is. One, she has shown me the value of our family stabilization program with TCF. The challenges I faced would have been tenfold if I was a first generation immigrant trying to understand what is happening and why. Our staff does critical work to keep families united and we will continue to prioritize that effort. Second, she is both Cape Verdean and Irish. She is not one without the other. This is similar to this city. The city isn't just Cape Verdean, it isn't just white, it isn't just Haitian, it's, in reality, all these communities blended together. The generations that are coming after us are even more mixed than we could ever imagine. We, by default, have to become an organization that services that community that's coming. When we talk about transformation and evolution, it is something that doesn't end. We must evolve and grow into the next phase of who we are. This is a vision that was given to me by a former president and executive director of our organization. It is something that I'm committed to seeing fulfilled, which is why it is my honor today to announce in front of all of you our official kickoff of a capital campaign to expand and remodel the Cape Verdean Association. We are calling it Project United. Our vision is to create one central location to service all the immigrant populations in the greater Brockton area. This capital campaign has a goal of $150,000 within the next five years. And we are pleased to confirm that our dear friends at Siskin and Siskin are our first donors to this capital campaign. Neil, if you are here today, please stand. I am confident that with the support of the community, we can achieve this milestone in celebration and in name of this 25th anniversary. So that's a reflection on where we are as an organization and where we're going. I'm going to now kick off some of our awards and our special recognitions for the night. Um, I mentioned to you all within that little spiel a special person that really implanted that vision of where this organization is going. Angela has told you a lot about Moses. He has credentials for days, but I like, I like to always make things personal. I joined the board almost seven years ago. I became president two years ago. I have learned so much from this man who explained the history of this community because I am not as old as he is. He dragged me to the church. He showed me servant leadership. He came and fixed the pipes. He didn't call a plumber. If there was a celebration at the association for one of our activities, he advocated that the leadership needed to be there. If the kids were sitting on the floor, Moses was too. He made sure that we always had food. Oddly enough, Moses and I often fundamentally disagree on a lot of things, one of them being the budget. But I respect every opinion and viewpoint that that man has, because he does it with passion and a true belief for the people. So it is my honor to recognize our first Cape Verdean mayor, Moses Rodriguez. With all that, can you please stand? Can you please stand? I, I told Moses he should just keep standing, but he didn't want to listen. So, yes, Moses, please come up. Thank you for doing so. We have something special for you. Um, this is an honorary like, clock for your desk, and it reads, success is not something that happens in the future. Success is made up of little steps Take it right now. So thank you for being an amazing leader right now.
Well, I wasn't expecting to get a... I got a clock. I don't know if they're telling me something. But at least I will be able to tell time. But I, I just want to... This means a lot to me because I wasn't expecting anything. Otherwise, I'd throw, throw my jacket on if I knew that this was going to happen. But, uh, you know, Nancy, uh, is uh, what she said was basically true. Uh, she wasn't um, all that into the church. I mean, uh, we come from a, from a community where 90% of our folks are Catholics. And, uh, but there's a lot of people within our communities that sometimes, for whatever reason, they not as involved with the church, and Nancy was one of them. And, you know, we did drag her, you know, but she has become an exemplary uh, young woman um, that leads in the church, leads in the community, and uh, it's always been one of my things to make sure that I'm a little bit older than she is. Not that much older, but just a little bit older than she is. But it's always been important for me to, you know, to, to grab uh, the next ones up, the next pe you know, next person uh, to step up and, uh, and get involved, and I'm glad that Nancy actually has walked and crawled and run and ran to a point where she's at now where she's looked upon in this community as a, a leader in this community. Nancy, keep up the good work and uh, never change. Although I, uh, you know, when Nancy laughs, she barely, I think she loses her eyesight, so, so we call her our Japanese friend in our group, but but she's, um, she's a, a, a true leader in this community, and now she's actually a, a, a young mom, not of her own making, but she's uh, bringing up a little girl, and I'm very proud of her, and thank God she's with us, and please continue to do what you can. Moses wants to dance so bad, I don't know. So we're gonna continue on with the program. Um, and before we continue, I just wanna say, I know we're doing a lot of special recogni uh, recognitions to a lot of people in the community, but I just wanna take a second and can we give a round of applause for everybody who's here because everybody who's here deserves recognition. You guys came out here to support the Cape Verde Association and you guys deserve a round of applause. I'd like to call up Joe Miranda back to the stage because there are a few more people in the community that we would like to recognize. So the special recognition this year, normally when we get like nominees, we probably fight about it and you know cancel a few names out. But this year the special recognition when we're, we are recognizing Vargas. Monteiro and Isidora Ribeiro. It's amazing how we all agreed. Nobody fought about it, nobody said anything. And it's simple because Vargas and Isidora, they have been with us since I could remember, since day one. They were there before I was there. And Vargas and Isidora, every time we called them to do us a little favor, come in, do one song, they never say no. It's amazing. And that is why today we decided to honor them with this special recognition. So I'm going to call Moses back up because we were able to get four Vargas and Isidore, if you guys want to come up, um, being so young and youthful. I remember when Vargas and Isidore first came out with their first CD, and I used to listen to her music in my room when I was like 12, 13. Uh, so that's my job. <laughs> So I do want to talk a little bit about you guys in that sense, right? It's one thing to provide community, to be there when we need you, but you also are there for everyone, right? I, I think you guys are supporters of all the artists that we know. You guys are supporters of youth and youth programs that happen in this city, and you guys are friends to anyone that I know speaks highly of you both. So it was an honor for us to be able to provide these citations for you all and to have a mayor who's supportive of that. So thank you for all that you guys do. Well, 
Vargas and uh, Isadora. Uh, you guys have been examples and supporter of Cape Verdean Day from the very beginning. I remember when you, you guys first started out, that's when we started with the Cape Verdean Day Festival at City Hall, actually. And we have, it has grown to a point where it's now becoming one of the largest gathering of people in this community. So I think it's fitting that uh, the city itself recognizes you guys for doing what you do for the last 25 years. I was about 10, I think, when you... Yeah. I was 10. I was 22. Maybe I was a little older, but I'm not, you're not going to sit here and dwell over a couple years, you know, 5, 10. Right? But anyways, but we have some uh, an official citation again from the city that I wanted to make sure you uh, you guys place somewhere important in your house because it means that much to me and to you as well, it should be. In your bedroom. No, no, put it somewhere important, you know, somewhere where people can, no, it's not that important. Well, he's a little old, so you can't be doing much of that stuff. Anyway, so uh, it's an official citation from the city and it reads as, be it known that the mayor of Brockton extends his congratulations to Vargas and Isadora. Uh, in recognition of your 25 years of high quality entertainment. For a quarter of a century, your music has brought great joy to the city of Brockton and beyond, and we are honored that you call Brockton home, uh, and hope that you continue to do and perform as you do, and therefore it gives me a great deal of pleasure that this citation uh, to, you, to, to give this citation to you as a symbol of our appreciation and that this citation is duly signed by the mayor of the city on this, the 20th day, 20th day of July, 2019, and it's signed by me. Congratulations and God bless you and please continue to do what you do. Okay, and how can we here today, all of us, show our appreciation and dedication and support to Vargas and Isidoro? Anybody have an idea? All right, maybe you guys didn't know this, but he had just released a new CD. I'm holding it right here. So you guys might be actually, is it for the first time people are actually buying it all in the public? Yeah, I just got it two days ago. Two days ago, it got released. So you guys are probably going to be one of the first person to have it. It's just $100 each. It's cheating. It's keeping I'm keeping 90. 90, he's keeping 10. That's how we do it. Keeping 90. It's $10. So please, if you want one, let me know. We have plenty here for everybody to take one home. Show you guys the support. Thank you. Okay, they asked me to stay. We're gonna move right along to our uh, CV awards. And uh, the first we would like to recognize is MJ Auto Body. Uh, come up. So while MJ Auto Body makes their way up, we're presenting them the Community Leadership Award. This award is provided to a business of K. Verdean ownership that has been a leader amongst the community. So MJ Auto is an organization that we call on when we need favors and support, but they also are a found supporter of the church and other organizations within the city. So it is an honor again for us to recognize MJ Auto this year as our Community Leadership Award. Real quick about MJ Auto. Recently, a couple months ago, myself and Moses and a group of other Cape Verdeans, we ended up going to Cape Verde. And in Cape Verde, we realized something that the nuns, the full, they don't have a car. So they would do a lot of walking and pay taxi. We, we found that very weird and odd, you know, 2019, these nuns are walking all over the place, it's miles and miles. So we talked to MJ Auto, and when we came to the States, before we even had a meeting, he called us, hey guys, I have a car ready to go. And that car is now in Cape Verde. Yeah. 
And then he went on and beyond because the nun in, 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 he in America too ended up getting a new car. So, with the community help, of course. So the next award is going to go to the Youth Leadership Award. So the recipients this year are Emmanuel Fernandez and Marlies Fernandez. And as they make their way up, you guys may have read about them in the Brockton Enterprise. So when we talk about the immigrant story, I think these two exemplify that. We come into this country, we have goals and ambitions, we face sacrifices, and the goal is to overcome them. These are students who have applied themselves, who are going to scholarship, who are receiving scholarships for college far exceeding their peers, and they did it with a language deficit, with very little family here to support them, and are truly an example for all the youth in our community to continue to strive to not let your circumstances determine where you end up. So congratulations to both of you. Achievement Award. So this award is given to an individual in the community who has done service throughout their lifetime. Um, our recipient today is well known. His name speaks for itself. Dr. Jean Jack Alves. Dr. Jacques is, of course, a medical professional. He probably has seen, if not you individually, someone in your family, right? He has begun the work of allowing Cape Verdeans to have medical care that's translated in their language, being able to understand the service that's being provided to them. But outside of his day-to-day -day professions, he's a supporter of multiple nonprofit organizations and also a recognized leader amongst all of us, when people need advice on where we need to be or what we need to do, Dr. Jacques is one of the first people that is called upon to provide that leadership. So thank you for your service on behalf of the Cameron Association. And one more time, I'd like to ask for one final round of applause for all of our recipients today. If I don't sell at least 100 CDs, tomorrow I'm pulling each of you guys over and getting a ticket. And it won't be a light ticket. Just saying. So, what are we, we're throwing in the crowd now? Oh, What's no. going on? Oh, okay. So, I don't want to talk too much because I know everybody has a lot of words, but just seeing these recipients come up, um, the youth come up, who in talking I've heard like they came from Caver, they came to America, did one year of bilingual, and then went into mainstream classroom, and they were able to have a higher GPA than all of their classmates. That deserves a round of applause. Just that in itself. Just knowing that, that is amazing. And then you see people like Dr. Zhajaki, who he actually happens to be my grandmother's doctor. We love him so much. And, <laughs> but the difference that he makes in the community is just something that can set an example for the youth, like myself, to further their education. And then you see people like MJ Otto, who goes in and does countless things for the community, sees a need and makes that need, corrects the need and makes it happen in a quick amount of time. Anything you ask him, he does. These are the people that I am proud to say that we're giving recognition for this year. So one more time, give them a round of applause because they deserve it. They do such a good job, they make me want to do something extra, you know? It, makes every, it should make everybody want to take that extra step. 
And without further ado, that leads right into the next speaker, our keynote speaker, who is the Cape Verdean Ambassador of the United States of America, Miss Doctor, sorry, not Mr. Doctor Carlos Vega. entre nós dois povos, no bem ali há 200 anos, de uma forma livre, no instala ali, no foi recebido de braços abertos, no trabalha, no te recebe, 
ex-amizade de povo americano, mas o tem retribuído de forma bastante intensa e Moisés Rodrigues é uma prova de que no Tadã, no Tarrecê, Moisés estaria, estava a ser maior dessa cidade, não só dos cavordianos, mas de tudo alguém que está ali, se me falar. O que ele também, mas o facto de essa celebração se ser feito por altura de comemorações de independência de Cabo Verde tem um significado. Eu tenho um significado porque a história de Cabo Verdeano ali na América é também a história de povo Cabo Verdeano da Cabo Verde. Nós é um povo forte, nós é um povo resiliente, nós é um povo que por isso sofre teu, mas o que não tem um objetivo não está conseguindo. Não foi colônia 500 anos, não decide mas não crescer independente, não luta para ele e não foi independente. Não entende o sistema de partido único já que essa serviu para nós. Não luta para a democracia, não teve democracia. Nós não era um de que esse país mais pobre do mundo. Hoje, não está graduado como um país que está chamado de rendimento médio. É que nenhum dádiva, esforço de povo cabo-verdiano. Nós não temos seus problemas. Não tem tchau dificuldades. Já não ultrapassa tchau e ainda não tem tchau para frente. Mas o que, que foi o nosso trajeto de hoje? Deve dar três coisas. Deve dar confiança, deve dar otimismo e deve dar responsabilidade. Hoje nós é uma democracia reconhecida no mundo. Está falado, mas nós é a 23 democracia no mundo. Mas não se sabe, mas nunca está, nunca não está longe de ser perfeito. Não se sabe onde não ultrapassa tchau, tchau situações. Mas nós não crescer, não menos do que um país desenvolvido. E isso é possível na Cabo Verde. É possível não fazer. Nunca tem recursos minerais. Não, nunca tem petróleo. Nunca tem ouro. Nunca tem outros comorites. Mas não tem mar. Mano tem sol, mano tem vento, mano tem capitão humano, não tem alguém, Cabo Verdeano, povo Cabo Verdeano, nas ilhas e na diáspora. A minha e a posição, claro, é a importância de diáspora para Cabo Verde é que de remessa que se está bem. Remessa é importante, mas mais importante, sobretudo, no momento que nos está, que no mês de assalto, é que essa competência, que o capital humano, que não tem na comunidade. E essa comunidade na América é um exemplo disso. Essa comunidade na América é exemplo de que, se não souber trabalhar em conjunto, não está a ser capaz de levar ao nosso país aquele, aquele limiar que não crê, aquela posição que não crê, de não ser um país desenvolvido, onde é que tudo nós tudo o nosso Cabo Verdeano e tudo o que é que está conosco, tudo o que é que está a visitar, está a viver em paz e tranquilidade, está a viver com um bom nível de vida, está a viver com alegria e com felicidade. É possível de não fazer, estar a nós modo de confiar, mas nós é capaz de fazer, de modo que quando nos torna independente, se alguém terá nós seis meses de vida, hoje nos está ali, nós é indicado no nível de que é país, que é bom exemplo, que é exemplo de boa governação, que é exemplo de democracia. Então não tem confiança, mas não tem responsabilidade. Não tem responsabilidade de reconhecer mas já não fazer teu, mas não tem necessidade de fazer teu. E a responsabilidade de não fazer esse teu que faltar é de nosso tudo. É de nosso tudo, é de cada cavaleiro. É hora de não fazer se uma presidente quer de Flávio. É hora de nos pergunta o Z que nos pode fazer para o nosso país. E muito menos o Z que o nosso país pode fazer para nós. Nosso país pode ser um país desenvolvido se não nos quiser e se não nos for capaz de dar aquele que nós não, aquele que não tem para nos dar. Nunca pode dar mais do que aquele que não tem. Mas aquele que não tem para nos dar, para nos dar, porque assim não está a ser capaz de fazer um país que nós tudo está orgulhando.
Hoje não tem motivo para não estar orgulhoso de trajeto que não faz desde nós independentes, de, desde que nós é colônia. Enquanto não foi colônia, não resiste. Nós língua resiste. Nós crioulo resiste. Nós música resiste. Mas nós maneira de ser resiste. Não adquire nós independência, sobretudo porque nós não é uma nação antes de não ser um Estado. Nós já não tinha consciência de nós alma, mas nós é diferente, a nós é nosso, de nossa personalidade. E, portanto, esse lista vai ajudar para não continuar a ter em frente a nossos problemas que não tem hoje, que é problema de desenvolvimento. Já não está na democracia, não quer ser desenvolvido, é legítimo. Por isso, então, para não ter orgulho de nossa história, não ter orgulho de nossa história, porque tudo cruza direito e cá direito. Que a hora de nos ponta, companheiro deve, a hora de nos juntar esforço, de nos juntar esforço para não, para não enfrentar dificuldades que não tem e para não levar para frente. Se amanhã você está fazendo ali na, Bro na Brockton, se amanhã você está fazendo ali nos Estados Unidos, é isso que não tem que fazer. E sobretudo na sua comunidade, que não divide. Tem hora que não pode dividir, sim senhor. Cada um tem a sua opinião, é te falar, é te fazer aquilo que crê. Mas tem hora que ele tem que estar aí tudo junto. E tudo junto para nos dar força à nossa comunidade ali, para nos dar força à povo de Cabo Verde, para nos dar força à nação cabo-verdeana. God bless America, God bless Cabo Verde, God bless essa comunidade. Muito obrigado. Thank you so much for that. And I, as I was listening to the words, well, first off, first off, I'd like to call up the band to come up as, while I'm speaking. But I think the words for people who didn't understand what he was saying, the words that stuck with me the most in his thing is, he's right. We have to join hands. We have to join forces in order to move forward, period. Like Nancy said earlier, Brockton is not just Cape Verdeans. Brockton is not just Irish people. Brockton is not just Haitians. It's all of these communities, and like the doctor who just spoke, he just said, we have to join forces, join hands, in order to move forward. So I think those words were, it just really, it really stuck with me. And I believe that that is something that we have to do in the city of Brockton in order to continue to be a great city. Am I right or am I right? I, before we start off um, with the music portion, and I know everybody's getting ready because I see them getting ready to dance. I believe that Moses just has a few quick words to say. And he is the boss, so I'll turn the mic over to him. No, I just uh, I want to make sure that no one goes anywhere because this party isn't over. I mean, the speeches are done and the awards are done, but I don't want anybody to go anywhere because you need to enjoy some of the music behind me. Uh, I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm going to go anywhere. I'm going to go anywhere. I'm apresentação onde acaba, mas eu tenho um grande grupo ali nos traz que eu estou esperando um estudo para ficar ali, para eles vão ouvir uns vozes suaves também. Então, o cabo está se ali, demora duas horas, ou não tem que a polícia correr conosco. Ah? Mas antes de bem crer, estão uns alguém ali, por exemplo, minha mãe que está ali, minha tia, minha, minha, minha sister, minha daughters, my son-in-law, my little man in the corner, my uncle, and uh, my friends who are here, my, my team, everybody knows who those are, uh, my, the youth group, the who? My, my godmother. My godmother, too, is here. But I, I just want to thank everybody that came out to celebrate with us. Uh, but most importantly, I want to thank every single one of you that came out tonight. 
If it wasn't for you, this night wouldn't be as successful as it is. And please, can we just give every single one of you a round of applause for coming out tonight and, and helping us out? Because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. So all our friends and family, uh, friends from a long, long time ago, uh, please continue to believe in Brockton. Let's make this city a great city again. And uh, I'm going to pull this thing out of here so you can enjoy some real nice and beautiful music. And Senor Manuel, I don't know if it's like Manuel Crefre. Oh, uh, Mr. Man, uh, Manuel Andrade wanted to make sure that I remind you all that tomorrow we have our festival at the Arnon School. Manuel Crefre, I'm going to tell you that there is a great festival for the first time. It's a celebration of the 25th anniversary of the Dia de Cabo Verdeano, which normally happens in the park. So, Amanhã vai ter um grande, um grande evento também. Uh, uh, uh oh, here comes the other one. Yes. But anyway, so I just want to thank you all for being here, and I'm going to whirl this out of here so we can listen to some beautiful music. And can we just give these uh, musicians a round of applause for coming out? You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right.